Oh. All right. I hit this stream button. So. Is there a live chat? Yeah, I got to do see. it. Let me try to configure all that. Hold on a second. Oh, I'll do that. There you go. Why is it doing that? Why did it do that? It's getting all weird. Just Maybe. expand it. Oh, yeah. There you go. Just drag it with the mic. So we can see that. Cool. So it's going. It's going. And the chat would be on this side. On so. the right, yeah, just so we could see. So then we have this to. So we could see that. Cool. And ain't nobody here. No, no one's here. That's okay. <sighs> All right. Hey guys, we're just getting set up. We're uh, trying to do a daily video on YouTube. I mean, you know, I'm just going to sit down here. There you go. I think that's going to be easier. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we're trying to do a video on YouTube every day for 2021. It's one of my New Year's goals. Well, one of our New Year's goals. Yeah. And um, whether we record something and upload it or find an old video of ours and upload it or we go live and just talk, you know, it's going to be something, hopefully daily. <laughs> Yeah, a hodgepodge, a mixture, if you will. Mm -hmm. A smorgasbord. Oh, candy cane. Oh, there's Perry. Perry Ooh. Rudd. Perry Roosh. Perry Rudd. A Perry Roosh. A Perry Roosh, hey. I say. Hey there, Perry. And then I see Connie Cleary. Hello, Connie. You got to get your Magic Macabre mirror. Not wait. <laughs> Different show. We've got a couple of people watching. And that's enough. That's more than we have usually. Yeah. I'm just going to, can we move this over a little? Watch it. Uh, that no, why would you want to do that? Well, I was trying to move it the other way. It's... You look better closer, actually. Do I look better closer? Yeah, look. Ah, uh, no, was... I look like a ghost. No, it was better when you... it was kind of weird. Oh. High five. It's, uh, yeah, this camera, well, webcams in general make me look like a ghost. But that's okay. Now, I see Lofty Moose here. Hey, Lofty. Ooh, an orb just went by. Ghosts. There's ghosts in the house. A lot of them. <laughs> or it's just really dusty. Mm. Anyways, um, so yeah, we went out to the mm. honey hole today. We did. We ventured out. Mm. Probably really unprofessional to do that. Um, to our favorite place to go thrifting, uh, the honey hole we caught. It is a Goodwill. We won't tell you where. No. Yeah, we went to our secret special secret. Goodwill, and we haven't gone there in a while. Yeah. Um, mm. But yeah, we just... We just wanted to get out of the house for a little bit. A little bit. And try to find some treasures. And we usually do. That place is yeah. uh, it's called, the, we, we dubbed it the Honey Hole for a reason because we have at least find one good thing there, you know, if not many. So, yeah, each trip. So it's always fun. But yeah, so we went there for a little bit and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, you know, there was some, it wasn't crowded, but um, again, some people just are. Some people that just are still. Figuring out what we've been asked to do for the last, you know. Recommended to do, I should say. Not made or forced, but recommended to do for the last nine months, right? You know, they, they tell you to wear your mask and keep a six-foot distance, and people will still, like, walk right up to you and reach over you to grab something off the shelf. So that's really, yeah. <laughs> and when you say excuse me, they'll go, oh, it, you're okay. Yeah. Like, I know I'm okay. I'm not reaching over you. You're reaching it, over me. Yeah, I'm saying excuse <laughs> me to be polite, but what I really mean is get the F away from me. Right, but we aren't going to get into all that because <laughs> I know a lot of people feel different about all of that, and that's not what this program's all about. So. Yes, so we won't get into that. Program. Look at me acting like this is a big thing. Yeah. <laughs> this program. <laughs> uh, what we do here, it's, 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 more, it's all about the, you know, the reselling and, and hunting for cool stuff to resell, right? <laughs> hey, Bobby Harvey. Hey, guys. Go, go, go to more. Hi, Happy New Year, Janet and James. Thank happy you, Happy New go, Year, go. everybody. That's right, by the way, if we haven't yeah. said it to you. Happy New Year, guys. Virtually, yet. Yeah. <laughs> Here's our New Year's greeting. Mm-hmm. All right, so how much did you spend? I spent around $42 today. You spent $42? I had, I had a $5 um, credit, so they gave me that, you know, for shopping so much there. And um, so I got, so it went from like 47 to 42 Okay. So what about you? So I spent 26 something and I think I was rang up wrong. So I need to check the receipt. Don't admit that on video. <laughs> but I didn't realize it until later because I'm like, all that was only 26? The honey hole police will come looking for you. Unless if they had something on sale that I didn't know about or, or maybe I had a $5 credit. It's but possible. I don't know. I felt like it should have been a little bit more. Mm. But um, I do have some eBay sales I can share while we're here, and then we could get into the haul. Yeah, and we're even going to do something that uh, we thought would be fun. We uh, we shot some video there at the Honey Hole and um, thought we'd show some of that uh, 
and then do, talk over it. So it's like about four minutes of footage of us. Because that's that's fun to watch, too. We don't do enough of that. We don't do enough of walking around, taping mm -hmm. stuff, and what, what we see. And, uh, you know, but we, need to, we need to do more of that. More of we that. Do. But we thought we could combine it with a live feed. There's you know, a... Roll some, uh, there's a lot of YouTubers that will do that. They'll go around to the thrift stores and they get video. They go aisle, yeah, you know, down every aisle and show you everything. Yeah, and from they'll their, from their point of view. Yeah, and they'll have they'll put they'll add their own commentary to like what they found or what the items were that they were looking at. Yeah. Um, because some of the thrift stores they blast copyright music and you can't have that playing on YouTube. So they'll mute the video and do their own commentary. And if that's not going on, which is, you know, it does happen. So they'll just narrate as they go. Yeah. Or some just wait till, you know, like Janet said later, whether they're narrating or not, or whether there's music or not, and do a dub over. But we're going to do show you some walkthrough video, and then we're, we'll just talk over it. Because yeah. they were blaring music that we can't, we can't obviously play. <laughs> and a lot of times, like, we're in the moment, like, oh, got to gotta look for stuff, and we don't think to, like, video I, it. And, 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 so. my, and, and kudos, uh, you know, to anyone, that, uh, any reseller out there that's walk, doing the walkthrough with the uh, with the camera and taping their what, what they're seeing and actually shopping. I think that's It's difficult. tough it's to difficult. do that, yeah. For me, it's hard to focus on what I'm looking at. While I'm trying to make sure that what I'm picking up and looking at is in uh, is is in the frame, because a lot of times I hold stuff up and then I'm I, you know I'm looking at it, then I look at my uh, phone or whatever I'm taping on. I'm like, oh, they can't see that. And I have to, <laughs> you might see some of that go on. I'm like, yeah, it's hard it's hard to coordinate that because yeah. you want to find some cool stuff, but yeah. then you also want to get video too. Right. So let's go over the stuff that you said that you sold today. Yeah. So I I have a ton. Well, I I think I sold like 25 things over the yeah, weekend. Go ahead and brag a little bit. But. Um, so here's an item I sold today. Some Skechers shoes. These went for $22.50. I think I originally picked these up from a Goodwill or Savers. Okay. And I think I paid between $5 and $7 for them. And they sold for $22.50 plus shipping. Mm. Some ladies uh, slip-on shoes. Nice. And then this is a consignment piece that I sold. It's uh, the World of Beatrix Potter. Mm. Will that show up? There it goes. The World of Beatrix Potter. Now, is that Harry's sister, Beatrix? And this is Probably not. like Peter Rabbit. This is like a little pin, a gold-plated pin. That also sold for $22 and something. Mm -hmm. And then we had a sale. Um, Mark in Tiffin, Ohio, bought our Superhost DVD, Mad Ooh. Theater Revisited. It's our Superhost tribute. I did a 10% off offer, so that sold for $16.20. Nice. I normally have the DVDs for $18. Every now and then, I'll, I'll um, if eBay lets me, I'll send out 10% offers. Wow, very so, nice. So, yeah, that's uh, some of the things I have to pack up tonight. Okay, so um, we're going to get into uh, the walkthrough. We can, like, you, know, you can pretend that you're out there at the honey hole with us uh, shopping and looking around. Like I said, it's about four minutes of that. So we'll show you that. We'll talk through it. And then we'll come back and we'll show you. Oh. Both of us are going to show you our A-Halls. And then we'll show you the goodies. Yeah. <laughs> both of us will expose our A-Halls. Yes. Yeah, that's right. And, and the A stands for awesome. Awesome. Our awesome haul. Right. The A-Haul. Yeah. Not, come on. <laughs> That, that, that's yeah so that's our little thing so let me go over here and oh you know what i need the um the just mouse the mouse if you can just kind of scooch Where's over there the mouse uh, see on top of the uh oh i see it yeah. okay here's your mouse thank you oh i don't need all that and a mouse pad if you need it, yeah, it works, um yeah. john says what's up happy new year glad you didn't have to spend time in facebook jail for your show what Glad that you didn't have to. Oh, well, last, I think maybe oh, he's commenting because because we, oh, yeah, because the I. The ship hit the fan. Yeah, because I, I accidentally swore on Well, there. yeah, I mean, it was so quick. I don't think it, it you know. I, yeah, I don't think it's. And you said ship, so what's the big deal? Okay, so let's get ready. <laughs> We're going to, um, uh-oh, it's starting to lag. It is, it is. Unless that's the, actually, no, that this is the feed. How, how is the sync out there, guys? Are we synced up with the audio? Is the audio synced up? Can you, up? you guys hear us and see us okay? Can you pull it up on your phone? Well, can, um, I can. What are people saying? But check the comments. I can't read that far. Oh, I can read Be them. Be nice to this old man. Nora says, hi, everyone. No one's commented on the audio. I'm, if you guys can hear us and see us okay, just send a thumbs up or hit okay. Yeah, it just seems off to me okay. when I'm talking. I can see it. I, I don't know if... I can't tell, so... I guess it's fine. No one's complained. It's not going to matter when we do the talk, the, the, the voiceover. Yeah. Sorry. Right, let me see. So let's show the, the video. Okay, here we go. We're going to do the video walkthrough at the honey hole. So here we go. 
All right, here we are in the uh, like uh, knickknacks aisle, and um, I apologize for my dry fingers. I had to cut some of that stuff out, but uh, it's cold out, man. Give a guy a break. Um, People are saying that they can hear us. Yeah, I just wonder if our, our, our mouths are synced up. That with they the can see us and hear us. Perfect. So thank okay. you. Okay, well let's keep going through this walkthrough here. So this, you know, uh, you just kind of you know scan over some stuff. I was trying to go a little slower, you know, but obviously not much. Um, and then I moved over to the glassware. Lots I, of I, lots of glassware there. They always have yeah. tons. And I usually find at least one piece that's you know, and that I sell relatively quick. Um, it's like coffee mugs. Hmm? Oh. Coffee mugs are something that um, that usually sell pretty good. And here, they're only like a buck. So, you know, you can't really beat that. Even if you made like, you know, a, you know 15, 20 bucks on a mug, which is really good. Uh, that's not too bad of a, that's a real good, uh, you know, um, margin there. Uh, this was a, uh, what do you call it, a stein, a beer stein or a drinking stein. And it, that's the Grand Old Opry on the top of there. I don't know why. I just try to look, try to focus in on that. But yeah, it said Grand Old Opry. Uh, the Opry House there, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, I did pull out, and I didn't get it on film, a, a Doctor Who coffee mug. And I'll show you that uh, in the A-Hall portion after all this. Oh, so you did find a mug. Yes, I did. Okay. But not when I was looking there. When I went back and put the camera down, then I found stuff. And again, just poked around here. I didn't really find anything that, that good this time around in the, in the uh, knickknacks and figurines. But there's a bobblehead there. Hockey bobble. Hannah head. Montana. Yeah, now we're in the, uh, the the toy and game aisle, and uh, there's some you know there you know puzzles are could could be good. That one was probably all right, uh, and I, I pulled that one out that Vincent Van Gogh, um, uh, painting and it's a puzzle. Starry Starry Night. Uh, I was gonna get that. I didn't look it up, but who knows? And this is a Toledo Opoly. It's a for Toledo Ohio specific Monopoly game, you know, themed uh, Monopoly game about Toledo. Passed on that. Um, yeah, you, sometimes stuff jumps out quite a bit here. It's, it's kind of interesting. And I, I was thinking about that, one of those plug-and-play games. The resale on those isn't very good. I've bought them before just to kind of play with them. But, uh, yeah, they don't really resell for much. I don't think there's a big... Right, I don't think they're that sought after because they made so many. Yeah. I looked through all of those dolls and didn't really see much. And there's you, and you kept running from me. Look at that. Because <laughs> I wanted to go look in that aisle. Oh, there you are. Oh, the Christmas must have been half off then, right? Yeah. yeah, all the holiday stuff they had for half off, and then they had a whole nother half an aisle just of Christmas. They had a ton of Christmas stuff left. Wow. So I was looking through some of it, but again, I didn't really see anything. Sometimes I'll pick up vintage Halloween or Christmas, mm -hmm. especially Halloween. Yeah. That, that's really good. Okay, so here's me looking at a keyboard. I almost bought this, but then when you open it up, it's it's a gateway computer, not a, a Windows uh, 90, yeah, ninety five, which would have been a maybe about a forty dollar uh, keyboard if it were in there. And here's just uh, me going over some of my stuff that I wound up buying, and I'll go over more in detail um, on the A Hall coming up right after this. But that I could not believe I found in the box. It looks like it has never been used. Wow. Uh, I don't know the value on it yet, but it can't. It's got to be better than three bucks. Those actually I looked up, um, and I'll tell you about those. Uh, yeah, you'll have to. To explain uh, yourself. There's there. a sign of the times right there, right? James, you're six feet. Come on, move back. Okay. <laughs> that This might be the best thing I found there today. As far as value goes. And there's some stuff you picked up. And uh, some DVDs. A lot of CDs. I usually do pretty good with media. Um, they had some pretty cool stuff there. And boy, I found one of my biggest sales from that $600 or $300 CD. Wow. Yeah. Uh, just, I was showing a couple of the titles that I picked up. A Mr. Jingling DVD. Mr. Jingling, yeah, all the media that. there is only a buck. Yeah, everything's so. a dollar, whether it's records, tapes, or uh, or DVDs. Okay, so we're going to come back here. This is just like the Mummy and the Monkey show, isn't it? And I have a Louie on my lap. That's okay. Here <laughs> we go, yeah, here we're back. Don't fret. Well, oh, hey, the NASDAQ's up. What's that? Oh, just move. Uh, I know, give me a second. Yeah, you don't you have go. to direct me. I know exactly what I'm doing here. Okay, just we just seem to be able to see the... I know, I know. Just okay. give me a second. This just does not move as smooth as I'd like it to. He's just organizing the screens. That's here. right. All right, there we go. Okay. This so is still. We're. St I'm still sort of like like not centered. I don't like that. Oh, why did it go? Okay. It has to go yeah. the other way. Yeah. Tiny, tiny bit. Like but not that. too much. But look how much. Well, that's right, okay. Whatever. Just move over. You. Hi, Stephen Baker. He says hi, Janet and James. Uh, Nora says I have Toledoopoly. Hmm. Got it when I still lived there. Mm -hmm. Cool. Late late horror show. Hi there. Hey there, Dino. 
Um, Perry says, I have a small lag. Oh, uh, sorry about that. But it's okay. Like, it sounds like, you know. It could be on your end, too. I don't know. But we're uh, we're sort of doing a different way to stream. We're not doing the doing the hard wire. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so let's get to the A-Hall, the part that they've all been yeah, waiting for. Yeah, let's show off the A-Hall. All right, get ready. You can show your A-Hall first. <laughs> okay. And the A stands for awesome. The A stands for awesome. I got to stop looking at the TV because it's throwing, it, it looks weird. Yeah, you know what? I think she forgot to ring something out. Uh-oh, well, hey. I got a good deal today. <laughs> I think my total should have been a little more. But, okay, so let's start. There's there's stuff in this bag, mm. but I did find this brown leather bag. Mm -hmm. the, the leather on it felt nice. The stitching was nice, and I'm like, there's something to this. What? How did it smell? It smells like a nice leather bag. Um, <laughs> I suggest you smell everything before you <laughs> no, you should buy it. Um well, you don't want it to smell bad. <laughs> All right. So Speak eight, for yourself. 879 is what they had on it. The yellow tags are 50% off. Mm -hmm. And this is a Patricia Nash purse. No. Patricia Nash, I have seen at Marshall's brand new for like 100, 150 bucks. I paid 879 for this bag and it's in really good condition. So 879 though. No. Oh, $8. Oh. So I thought, you know, maybe $40 to $50. Mm. We'll, we'll see. Maybe a little well, more. 879 pennies? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then in the bag, mm -mm. I've got a J. Crew Schoolboy Ladies Jacket. I think it's a size 8. The size tag is missing. It, they have it as an excel, extra large. Um, I paid five, paid five ninety nine dollars for it. And it's like this plaid ladies blazer. Schoolboy lady. Yeah, it, it, they call it schoolboy because it's probably because it's plaid, like a school type of uniform. Mm -hmm. But the solds on some of these are like thirty to fifty dollars, and I think J Crew was one of those companies that was going out of business. J Crew. It's like a preppy do, brand, but do, do, their clothing do. is made real nice, and I don't sell as many or as much clothes as I used to. Now, how did that? How did that smell? It just smells like a thrift store. Like thrift store, yeah. It doesn't really have a bad smell. That to would it. be a fun candle, right? Thrift store. Thrift store? Scented. A Goodwill scented candle. Yeah, if you're really into reselling uh, and thrifting. But here's the brand Patricia Nash. That's what the lettering looks like. So if you see those, <laughs> that's a good one to pick up. Um because yeah, brand new, those bags are like a hundred, hundred and fifty bucks, sometimes mm -hmm. more. That's it's leather too. It is, it's all leather. Leather. I have another bag here with lots of stuff in it. There are a lot of people in the leather out there, so um, Whoa, but there's bags inside of But bags. wait, there's more. Yeah, there's more stuff in here. Awesome. This so awesome. this is a ladies, another purse, a leather bag. Mm -hmm. It's a little scratched up. Um, and it was $10.99. <sighs> but I saw this when we were checking out, and it was on a table with some small wallets and some other bags. And I'm like, that's a coach bag. They should call those smallets. A small wallet, wallet. A small wallet. A small wallet. A small wallet. Yeah, it should have been in marketing or something. And it is a coach bag. It has the coach creed. It has the serial number. It has the stitching, the um, zipper. Can you recite the coach creed by heart? Do you know it? This is a coach bag. It is made out of com it is made out of completely natural glove tanned cowhide. The scars, scratches, veins, and wrinkles are natural markings characteristic of full grain leathers. This is number 0384007. This is a coach bag. There are many <laughs> like this bag. But I didn't look it up yet, but I know that that could be good. Um, so I grabbed it. I didn't check the, the solds on it or yet. Or smell. Right. And it smells like old leather. <laughs> Nora says I want that coach bag. Let me know how much. All right, look Woo! at that. It's like home shopping club. Yeah, yeah. I'll help. I'll, I'll um, I'll, I'll clean up the leather so it looks a little bit nicer, and um, then put it on our eBay store. She'll buff it. Yeah. She got little tricks of the trade there. Okay, and then I picked up shoes. Well, sandals. Now, how do those smell? There are a lot of people who would like to know that. They oh, are they brand new. Oh, well, They're well. brand new. So these are Crocs. Brand new. New with the tag Crocs. Yeah, Croc. And uh, I paid six fifty nine for these. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And in the past, I have sold new or like new Crocs between $25 and $30. I didn't look this up, but I knew, hey, it's new with the tag, and it has a good chance of selling. Mm. 
so I grabbed those. Um, this, well, I won't show that. I did buy one thing, but it's a gift for a friend. And we already kind of showed it, so. It's 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 a cute um, I didn't about gift that. item. You, 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 and that was uh, that was just a couple bucks. <laughs> that that I'm not counting as part of the resale mm -hmm. stuff. Um, this is for, oh. this I bought for me. Yeah, I, I went through the CDs. You found them and for they, me. Had, they, they replenished their. I go through their media quite a bit, and it's funny because the you start when you do it enough, uh, when you do that <laughs> something like that enough in certain stores, you get to see recognize it's the same. Sometimes it's the same stuff over and over, the same stock. Like they never punch. They it looked, I think they get rid of everything and just put an all new, a whole rack of you know a whole uh, a shelf full of DVDs or CDs and stuff. But yeah, those. So someone must. This must be from someone's collection because they. Have, there's Multiple one, two, three, four, five, five, five Weird Al Promo. Yankovic CDs. So Weird Al Yankovic, even worse. There's Weird Al there. Um, Weird Al Yankovic Poodle Hat. I, I'm a Weird Al fan, can you tell? Weird. Um, Weird Al Yankovic Off the Deep End. And these were only a dollar, guys. That's awesome. Piece. Weird Al Yankovic Bad Hair Day. I think that's the one that has Amish Paradise. It does, yeah. Yeah. That's him as Coolio right there. <laughs> yeah, with the Coolio hair. Um, Weird Al Yankovic Running with Scissors. He's a dangerous kind of guy. Yeah. So, yeah so, and Weird Al's uh, awesome. And, and, the, and the bonus of this is that they're every they're in great condition. They I mean, they are. So almost I'm, like maybe someone took care of their stuff. Yeah. Um, that's why we, we have such a huge uh, physical media collection. When you go to the thrift store and you find cool stuff for a buck, you're like, what the buck? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the buck, Or guys? even worse, like when you go at some garage sales or, or flea markets when people only charge like a quarter for uh, a DVD or, uh, or a CD, I, I can't help myself. Yeah. I'm like, at least I can throw them away at that, with the, you know, at that kind of a price if I don't like them or I get tired, you know, whatever. Right. I don't feel so bad, but yeah, I buy a bunch of them. Do I have anything else in here? No. Okay, so this bag, um, yes. what brand was it? I looked it up when I was there. Mm -hmm. Eric Javits, New York. Let's see if I can show the tag. Eric Javits, New York, and the pricing's all over the place from like 30 to 100 bucks. I don't know. But the bag was $6. And, oh, we'll flip that around. $6.59. Wow. And it's like a ladies, um, just like a ladies woven tote bag. Or a man's. Or man's, whoever wants to use it. Thank and you. it has a nice clasp on it. It has like brass um, hooks on. on there. Like the fabric is nice. Mm. So, yeah, that was my that was my haul, and uh, they charged me twenty six dollars. Your amazing haul. Now, I wonder, what you, <laughs> yeah, I wonder what you got for free there. You know, what what, what they forgot to ring in. I don't know. Uh, I'll have to look at the receipt, but I think they missed something. It just seems like it's a little off. Yeah. Uh, Usually when we go more than more than not, I I wind up getting like ten times more than Janet does, um, because I'm particularly not a, a very smart buyer. No, he buys um, a lot more than I do. I'm, I'm more choosing. You sell more than I do, so there mm -hmm. you go. So there's something. I try to find things that I, I think off there. will have a good chance of selling, uh -uh. and then sometimes I find a few things for me. Mm -hmm. Do I have hair yeah, on me. You got like a piece of makeup or something. There you go. Okay, I'm <laughs> still on there. I think do on I? your lip now. Really give your whole face. Yeah, here you go. Let me see. All right, perfect. Okay. <laughs> I just had to say, because when I give you Thank a kiss, you. I don't want to booger. You know. It wasn't. Well, I mean, a booger in a, in a. I felt like I had hair on my face. Yes. Probably or from, hair. Probably from Louie. The booger is, that's my thing. <laughs> I'm the one that makes the booger. You're the booger one. All right, so you saw some of the stuff I, I got in, in the cart, but we'll go through some of the, um, let's go through some of the media. So, like I said, I bought a, a ton. Like here, I'll show you how many, this is how many CDs I bought. Wow. Ugh. Holy moly, look at all those CDs. Yeah, but these are a dollar piece, and I, I know one of them alone is, is going to be really, really good. Okay. But um, Do you want me to van of them for you? If you want to. I'm just going to so hold Fantasia? Because when, when you hold them up that close, the ring obscures. Oh, okay. So just hold it, yeah. To, right. Fantasia. There's the Fantasia the soundtrack. soundtrack from the Disney movie. Yeah. Uh, it's a 1990 release, I believe, or 91. 1990. 1990, and it says Pioneer. It's by Pioneer, and sometimes... These things, I, I I really didn't get to check this one out. These probably go for five or ten bucks. The other versions of it. This one I couldn't find her off the bat, so I don't so know. It might so this be needs more, a little more research. Might be more rare. This is a good one. They had a lot of movie soundtracks and um, and compilations of different artists, but 
What? So someone dumped their CD collection. They did. They did. Um, and, it's, and we benefited from it. I hope this is the Dragnet movie. Yeah, maybe you want to do that. Yeah, yeah. I can't get that close. Dragnet movie. You, you can get closer if you want, I guess. Yeah, there you go. I can see it better. But that ring, though, dang. Ugh. Anyway. Yeah. That's the Dragnet uh, soundtrack. This I got two different ones of this. It's uh, Dream a Little Dream original soundtrack from the Vestron motion Vestron. picture. Vestron. Vestron pictures. Vestron. 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 Dream a Little Dream. I've never yeah. seen that movie. Cor it's a, the two Corys movie. It's a uh, Corey Haim and Corey Feldman movie. Oh. That one is probably 25 30 bucks. Uh, I like her stripey tights. Depending there. on what day it is on eBay. All right. And, Retro. Um, let's see. Let's see if I find the other one. And I found not one, but another movie. That uh, they're in, this is the classic, License to Drive, baby, yeah. Ooh. That one did not come up when I scanned it in, so that makes me even happier to find because I know that one's going to be worth a little bit more. But And, and again, if you could see these discs, they're in, re they're in really good condition. Uh, they're not bad at all for their age. Mm -hmm. um, this one is going to be, this is probably one I know. I, I and you I, made sure all the discs were there. Yeah, I always do. Right? You have to. Yeah, oh, yeah, because sometimes people steal them. Yeah, and I make sure the condition's okay, too. So or I'm they like, donate the empty box. Because, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've, I, oh, they've had uh, shelves of, of empty di discs there before. Mm -hmm. Like, what the heck? But, yeah, I I sold this. I sold the exact same uh, CD a while back for, like, 20 bucks or 25 bucks. That one sometimes goes up for 40 It's a, a band, When in Rome. So I was I right away picked that up because I know it'll sell. Is it pop music? Uh, it's early like like early eighties, late nineties, sort of uh, or, I, or, or early, early late eighties, early nineties. I've I probably believe. heard them before. There may be one I song just can't that I know. remember them at the moment. The soundtrack to Casablanca with uh, Humphrey Bogart. You can play it for her. You can play it for me. Play he it again, that Sam. Killed a whole fifth of Jack Daniels. <laughs> That's a lot of Jack waiting there. for her. <laughs> um. This is a good one. This is they had some really weird cartoon soundtracks and movie soundtracks. Oliver and Company. That's a twenty five oh, thirty dollar CD right that's there. That's a cute movie. Not a, not a common one. It's I great. like Oliver and Company. Oh, Billy Joel. I forgot he's in that. Billy Joel. Oh, Billy Joel. Yeah. They had a ton of Billy Joel CDs there. I didn't pick those up. Um, uh, Looney Tunes Christmas. Oh, Christmas. Looney Tunes Christmas. That should sell. Christmas tunes. That's like maybe ten or fifteen, maybe. That's cute. But, and here's what I was telling you about. Like, here's three different An Animaniacs. Animaniacs. CDs. I didn't even know they made Animaniacs CDs. It's crazy. I mean, like. I remember the cartoon when I used to watch it after school. And, the, you know, the thing with CDs, too, and they have no uh, barcodes on the back, which is weird, except for that one. But that's a, one of them has BMG. Maybe it was part of a. Music club. That's BMG. Music club. Yeah, maybe it was like a mail away thing. Well, BMG had their own sort of re uh, releases. They were the same dang, dang album, but they would, they would just have the, instead of a barcode. These are the ones that you have a, belong to that the BMG Music Club. Yeah, like I said, maybe it was a mail away thing. Well, it, it was like part if, of a, a, a Music of the Month Club. Yeah, and you they would, would you would mail away for it. Yeah, and they would send it to you, but it would. Uh, but I don't know. There's no, no difference to the release at all. Just that it didn't have a. Uh, a barcode. Bobby Harvey says, I got Oliver and Company and the Looney Tunes CD. Wow. Oh, cool. That, it's worth, it, th those are worth money, man. And then here's one. <laughs> it's a Bugs Bunny on Broadway. That's pretty neat, too. Him conducting a, an orchestra. An orchestra. Bugs. Bugs. Ain't I a stinky? <laughs> All right. That was pretty good, actually. Yeah. And for me, I got a Men at Work CD. Couldn't pass it up. I have this on vinyl. I like Men at Work. Stevie B. Uh, Ray Lynch, the best of this is really fun new age music, like really cool stuff uh, that came out in the late 80s, early 90s. Mm. And something for my mom because she just recently had a dream about Patrick Stewart. So it's <laughs> Don't Patrick, we all? It's Patrick Stewart. <laughs> Patrick Stewart's awesome. Reading Peter and the Wolf. <laughs> that I might have to listen to as well. Patrick He's, he's cool. I Professor like Professor X reads Peter and the Wolf. Yeah, exactly. Or Picard. Once upon a time. <laughs> Space, the final frontier. All right, and I found a couple of DVDs, not as many as I usually find, but those I got to be real picky with. Here's a movie I haven't even seen. This movie it's called The Hollow. The Check Hollow. Ooh. Ooh, it's like a Sleepy Hollow. Yeah. Movie. Who's that in be, that? I don't know. No one I recognize. Nick Carter. Was Nick that? Nick Carter. Oh, the, uh, the is that the um, the singer? Is that the Carter? Backstreet Boys' little brother? Or something? I think so. Or was yeah, that Aaron guy. Carter? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Jimmy Carter, maybe. Mountain Motel Massacre. Mountain. 
Top Motel Massacre. Yeehaw! I couldn't say no to that. I, I, I don't know if Ooh. I've seen that movie, but I recognize the cover. I've never seen that, that goes, one. It's an older movie. Who made that one? I'm trying to see if there's anyone in it that... I think it's, I think it's an 80s movie. Wow. We're going to have to see that one. Yep, we'll have to pre-watch it. I found, we watched, like I said, we watched this already. Uh, a copy of uh, uh, Mr. Jingling. It's, Mr. You know, Jingling. Yeah, it's, it's totally, you know, there's no writing on the DVD. It's something somebody <laughs> bought at probably Gilardi Fest. Mm -hmm. It's a homebrew. Yeah, it's here. It's like totally a bootleg. A, home brew. a bootleg, but it's fun. A couple of low rider type of uh, car DVDs. These are pretty good. And they're, all, they're both uh, the same thing. And they're, shrink and they're factory sealed. Um, I could maybe get 15, 20 bucks a piece for those. That's pretty good. Cool. And uh, for, uh, oh, and this is something, uh, it's a documentary uh, called Robert Earl Davis Jr., The DJ Screw Legacy. The DJ Screw Legacy. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, when I looked it up real huh. quick, I didn't see that particular DVD, but I saw some other ones and they were going some, for like 20, 25 bucks. Some documentary thing. Yeah. Again, these are, these are good for me because... They're easy to list. And these would be neat to watch. They they, they ship media mail, which is like three bucks. Mm -hmm. People and people are pretty good with that. Not they don't try to you know they're not upset about buying it or, or, or like man it's gonna cost me ten bucks to ship a ten dollar item. Yeah, the, I mean that's the one good thing about the postal service is media mail. It's a great uh, shipping rate. It's usually if it's like a pound or under, it's usually around two dollars and eighty cents. Mm -hmm. If it goes over a pound, it's like three dollars or something. Really reasonable. So. If someone buys a stack of VHS or a stack of movies or a book, um, they're not going to spend a ton shipping it. The only thing is, if you sell something that's valuable, um, you might want to add a couple more bucks for the shipping to make sure you can add insurance to it because Media Mail doesn't come with insurance. Right. So I've had some items like if I sold a video game for 50 bucks oh, yeah, so or sold priority. a book for 100 bucks, I would pay a couple bucks extra or to just, add the insurance. It, yeah, but you say it weighs a pound and just ship it uh, priority. Yeah, I mean, you, you could do priority as well, um, like a flat rate envelope or something. But if, if you don't want to pay a high priority rate, you can spend a couple bucks and add insurance to Media Mail on the eBay seller screen. Yep. Um, Perry says, a friend at work shared Patrick Stewart reading a Christmas carol, the best. Oh, yeah. Aw. Oh, that was a Christmas. <laughs> that voice, yeah. What's Mr. that? Oh, and I picked this up. I already have this, but I can't find it laying around the house, so I wanted to just watch it at some point for a buck. The Incredible Mr. Limpet. Remember this movie? I remember that movie. They used so to play good. it on TV. Yeah, this was a, a great TV movie. I remember as a kid, to... it would pop on TV, and you had to watch it. There you love go. this movie. We haven't seen it in years, so would love to see it again. And that's it for the media. Now, on to the other parts of my A-Hall. Here's some stuff that uh, I was like, yeah, I know this could be probably good because it's vintage. But, uh, and people try to sometimes want to restore their homes or, 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 or keep, make something sort of like authentic to the, to the house when it was made or when it was furnished. Like if they're looking for a replacement piece or part. These are lighted push buttons and, um, they're just like, you know, for a doorbell or whatever. I think they mount, I don't, yeah, they're just lighted push buttons. But I was like, oh, okay, you know, they're, they want two bucks, two bucks for them, two dollars and 19 cents. And I said, you know, I should look these up because this looks like something, since it's an original piece, you know, it's, it's. Vintage piece. Yeah, pat uh, patent lighted yeah. push button. $20. For, wow. For these, yeah. So that's what those could sell for. Mm hmm. They could. That's cool. So for two buck investment. For you know, $2, yeah. yeah and, 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 Easy to ship, yeah, right? And they're very specific. It's going to be that one buyer. This is one of the first things I picked up just because I thought it was neat. This was like $2.19 too. But it's a uh, die cast um, Qantas uh, Australia uh, little plane. Oh, it has a kangaroo on it. Yeah, from, it's Australian oh, Airways. Crikey. Crikey. There you go. Does it show up on there? Holy platypus. Yeah. There it goes. It's that like the silhouette easy. of a kangaroo. Yeah, but it's a die cast plane. It's pretty neat. And, uh, you know, it could be something decent for two bucks. <laughs> Collectory stuff. People we like, have uh, uh, neighbor Brian watching us. Neighbor Brian, hi. Hey, neighbor Brian. I'll have to come by you with the glue gun. I know it. And then Kate says, hey there, Mountaintop Motel Massacre is an excellent movie. Highly recommend. Yes, I, I, awesome. again, I may have seen it decades ago and just forgotten it, but I totally recognize the cover. I've, you see it in the video store every time you get one in there. You know, it was one of those. Yeah, that's uh, one that I guess I just stand out. never saw. Please do, not, please do not disturb Evelyn. She already is. Oh, boy. <laughs> that's great. All right. So I, what's that? I picked this up because it's in the pack and um it has a kmart logo on the back kmart 
Kmart. Yeah. Oh, I the miss savings place. I miss Kmart. But it's a, it's a it's a little discolored, but it's a it's a um glaze text all white. Well, at one time it was Christmas drape. I get like a like a um you know now a, a tree skirt or whatever. More like um like a beige. Yeah, it's it looks the white. Retro it looks white there. It looks nice. It does. But, but in real life, it's like a beige. It's and a bit yellowed. There's the Kmart logo. Yeah, and that was half off. So. Ooh, Kmart. <laughs> I, and people, people love Christmas, and uh, you can post Christmas and sell Christmas all year round on, 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 online. Two things that sell year round, Christmas and Halloween. Yep. Doesn't matter what time of the year it is, people will buy Christmas and Halloween. So for my dollar investment, I hope that, you know, I can maybe get, I don't know yet, maybe 10, maybe 15, maybe 20 bucks. I don't know. I don't know. I'll look it up. That's um, something I would not have picked up, but... All right, the last three things... That's cool. ...are pretty fun. Um, the, one I looked up, and two I have not. Okay. But I saw this guy early on, and I thought he was the coolest thing. I've seen a lot of these, you know, animatronic thing, Halloween figures, but... Yeah, I'm kind of jelly that you found him he before He was just me. sitting on the shelf back there, and no one wanted this guy. Look at his cute little and look at that little pumpkin in there. face. He's got, a, he's got a pumpkin there on the thing. And his little pumpkin. Jagaland. Look at that cute little pumpkin and smile. And tilt him down so you, they could see the keyboard a little bit. And he's got a keyboard. Yeah. So I don't know a if it... A skeleton yeah. playing a keyboard. Now, I don't know if it works or not, <laughs> but uh, that doesn't even matter really with stuff like this. But the bottom, unfortunately, the, the battery uh The battery pack is, is a... crushed. Yeah. Mm. But again, I mean, I might try to. Uh, and how much? Oh, he was half off. So, Yellow yeah. tag. So my gosh. What so was he it? was like three bucks. Two fifty. Like, yeah. Two $3. something. So yeah. that's that's an easy, you know, an easy buy. And I have He's not so seen this cute. guy like sort of in the wild or otherwise. You always see the witch on the rocking chair. Any markings on it? It might be Jemmy. Any company? Oh, name? on the bottom. On, uh, there should be something there, right? No, I don't see anything. Under the sticker. Or? I was looking around his butt. <laughs> Sometimes you'll find markings underneath or near their butt. Is that where your markings are? No. Your butt? No, I don't have any tattoos there. <laughs> markings on your butt? I would know. No, 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 no. You, you should know. Hey. Anyway. It's a family show. Anyway, so who knows? I don't know what he's worth, but I bet you I wouldn't be surprised if I can get almost 40, 50 bucks for this guy. Well, make sure he works first. It doesn't Connie matter. says, love that one. How much? I don't know yet. I got to do a little oh. research. So, yeah. Um, and. Our, the link to his eBay store oh, yeah. should be in the video description. We yeah. each have our own eBay store. So I have to update. It's called New World Hoarder. That's the name of my eBay store now. Okay. The link the, the link should still work. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be the same. It, yeah. It might be spelled. Different somewhere. name, but I think it's the same link. Yeah. We'll check it out. So. It'll take you probably to my page. Okay. So the last two things. And he, it might take him a while to list it and, and get it tested and cleaned. I like uh, archiving video, audio, all this kind of stuff. So... When I saw this, I don't know how much it's worth, but it's in the box. It appears to have never been removed before. Look how nice that styrofoam is in there. I don't think, and there's the AC adapter. You should probably open it, though, to make sure it works and take pictures. I, I may. Or I are may. you just going to leave it as is? I don't think anyone's ever used this thing. So VHS-C. This is a VHS-C rewinder. VHS-C. Now, regular VHS tape rewinders, you know, depending on what they are, especially if they can fast forward and rewind. Um, you know, anywhere from five bucks to 50 or depending on how good it is or whatever. 329 they have. This was 329, but, but this thing, but what is VHSC? Ah, this is a different format of video cassette that was made for uh, camcorders back in the day. And it was like, it's basically a half of a VHS tape. It looks like that. It actually so looks it's like a, a little it's block. it's smaller than a VHS. It's got one spool in it. And what you do is you had an adapter that's the same size as a VHS tape. And I have a few of those. And, even, and those are worth money, too. If you have those VHC adapters, they're, they're, they're worth a decent amount of money. But you pop that uh, half of that uh, the VHS SC tape in there mm -hmm. and plop that into your regular VCR. I guess the idea was to, to make a camcorder smaller. They made, this, Because the old camcorders, when they used the regular VHS tapes... Those things were honking big, but so they cut the tape in half, and you can make literally cut your your camera size in half. So that was, oh, I think, that was the plan. Okay. But this has never, I've never seen one of these. I, I wouldn't even know to look for this thing. Hmm. Um, really weird. Ninety day limited warranty. Still, I'm sure that's expired. <laughs> like thirty years ago. So I'm excited. I haven't done any research on this, but I didn't have to. It was three dollars. I know it's going to be worth way more than that. That's great. And it should uh, sell good. Bobby Harvey says, Son of Ghoul uh, sold Mr. Jingling. So that may have been a DVD that Son of Ghoul sold at the flea you know, market. It's always funny to find that kind of... The last thing I found like that was when we were, we were at a Goodwill in Medina. 
and someone must have went to Cinema Wasteland because there were all kinds of V8 or DVDs in there totally that were Wasteland type stuff. Oh wow. A lot of Henrik Kuto movies. Yeah, that's right. I remember. Henrik. Yeah. I'm like, this is all this was a Wastelanders uh, collection. It was yeah, it was as collection. if someone just like donated their video collection or someone did a clean Got out. tired or expired, you know. Yeah, who and knows? And there's their collection. It's crazy. Yeah. But I'm like, I, this is so bizarre because I know, and a lot of them were signed, mm -hmm. you know, like they were at a convention. And but Henry's, there's there's that again. Yeah. Oops, upside down. Yeah, that's probably a Son of Ghoul copy. Yeah, that might have been from Son of Ghoul. I, and I just, for some reason, I just felt bad for leaving it. There. I already have that, but I Hey, John Biggins. Hello. Parma John. Uh, James says, I was big on the camcorders. So he yeah. was a camcorder dude. Now, this was the best thing I found, I think. I don't know how much of this thing's worth yet, so maybe I'm wrong. But when I, I just picked this up because... Let me just see. Yeah. Are you not going to let me look it up? Well, good. Well, let me look it up. it up while you talk. So VHSC this, Rewinder. This I saw sitting there, and I know anything sort of, you know, utilitarian, especially older, more vintage in a box is probably desirable. So I picked this up, and I looked it up later. These Pelican, uh, King Pelican lights are crazy good. I didn't look at sold, but I saw what people had stuff listed for. Any anywhere between thirty-five or forty dollars up to like one hundred and fifty, two hundred dollars. Nineteen ninety-nine, they sell for free shipping. Okay. So one sold on the twenty-fourth for nineteen ninety-nine. So there's there's twenty bucks, so it's a three-dollar investment. So Boom. you paid three something. Yeah. And I'll make, I'll make like twelve bucks off. So that, that's not bad. No. And it's not real heavy. So and it probably will sell. It might be like five bucks, six bucks to ship it. Yeah. So, I mean, that's not bad. So, this thing Considering is. Considering you didn't even look it up. This thing is crazy good. Oh, look, it has the uh, Remora BC knife. What is that? Is that for something else? Yeah, someone's someone's uh, knife instructions are in here. A Remora BC knife? Oh, for some. Oh, like, is the knife in here? No. <laughs> so, but, why are these lights so special? Don't know, don't care, but. Are they are. like some super bright flashlight? Yeah, they're pretty neat. Um, this one is. This one's specifically a. Laser. Laser. It's a laser spot. I see you. But yeah, it has a handle on it, and I guess get a get a grip on a handle. What kind of battery does that With, take? It probably takes one of those giant like flashlight batteries, those obnoxiously big. Look at this thing. Ugh. How do you even? Oh, I'm gonna break it before this thing is pretty. It's big. like a light what? a flashlight for like a giant. I don't know what this is. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to break it, but this is pretty sweet. And like I said. This, this could be 50 or 75 bucks. I don't know. I got to do mo a little more research, but it's all here. It's all in one piece. doesn't smell like a basement. It's not dirty. Look how nice and clear that lens is. Yeah, it looks like it's new. So, so that's cool. Yeah, this was a good one. Bobby says uh, that he also had the Grim Reaper that we were showing. What's that? The, he has that? He had, he, um, had that one. He had I don't know if he still has it, but he said he had yeah, it. Yeah, I've never seen this guy before. He's pretty neat. He probably yeah. plays music. He's cool. He's got his little skeleton hands right there. He that has probably little move hands, around. his little orange cape. He's pretty sharp. But that's He's really my, cute. That's the funnest thing I've found. And that's my A-Hall. Hope you enjoyed looking at it. Yeah, we all admired your A-Hall. Thank you. It was, it was amazing. Yours was pretty sweet, too. <laughs> He said, the light summons aliens. Be careful. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. And we'll try to get that on video. Stephen Baker says, I missed Kmart, too. Yeah. Well, Going just, back to the Kmart thing. It just closed last year, right? Pretty much. They closed, two ago. like, two, three years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Closed up shop. Yeah, we missed Kmart. We got a big empty one sitting uh, sitting out, out down the street here where homeless people are, home, are squatting in it. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a bunch of, like... Empty, deserted Kmart's around Northeast Ohio. Oh, and I found these. I had to look these up, but it's a uh, they're little salt and pepper shakers. There's another one around there somewhere, but they just say Nantucket on it. Nantucket. And what do they what's it say on the bottom? I can't read something something Nant something something Nantucket. Old. I can't make the second word out. Old Sparta. Sparta. Old, Old Sparta Sports? Nantucket. Old Sparta Nantucket. So it was a souvenir. Yeah. If I had to guess, probably mid-century, like a little souvenir. They're kind of neat. Uh, salt and pepper shakers. I don't know. I, I don't just, know. just had a feeling about them. They're, they're kind of solid. Some of there. the salt and pepper shakers that are cute and vintage, um, they don't sell for a oh. lot, but they sell. People like them. Yeah, I left my Doctor Who uh, mug in the car. I know it's wrapped up in a scarf. So. Oh, I was going to ask you about that. Yeah, it's okay. It's, it's just got the TARDIS on it. It's nothing really super special. Kate says, we also have a vacant Sears. Oh, yeah. Sears. I forgot they closed too. Sears, yeah. A lot of stores are closing. Yeah. Yikes. Well, 
Any more questions for us? Or? I'm looking to see if there's any other comments that we missed. Kmart got cheaper near the end, says Well, John. they had to. They, got, yeah. they were forced to. Had to compete with all the other, with the, with the big box stuff. And now, no, you know, that's the interesting thing about, pro, or like about retail is that, you know, it was mom and pop, a general store, then mom and pop took over. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, big box stores. And then and when they were there, like, who can beat them? Amazon comes over and yeah. runs over Amazon Walmart. destroys them all. Jeez. James says, Happy New Year, Janet. And James, thank you. Happy New Year. I have Alvin and the Chipmunk figures that were from McDonald's. Yeah. Happy Meals in a clear plastic display case in plastic in plastic witch doctor masks. Hmm. I put them up for Halloween. Oh, okay. Nice. Cool. Retro stuff. Always cool. That stuff's always cool. Happy New Year, Kate. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So there's our daily uh, YouTube video. And yeah. uh, it was a whole video, so that was fun. It was. Always fun. And uh, we are trying to pick out a movie for this Friday yep. for the Mummy and the Monkeys, Harry's Harry Scary Hangout. Hangout. You know so well, yeah. <laughs> um, it might be, I, I'm thinking it could be something we played in the past because, uh, I, you know, all just up until the last few episodes of the show, we, we've been, um, you know, streaming and it's been not the best. But now it seems like we really figured some things out. So I think a lot of stuff got lost, you know, any all the stuff that I worked on as far as the movie segments go. Yeah. You know, all the skipping and buffering and the delaying on our end. So now it should run nicer. So yeah, so we have like two years of movies that we can reshow, not consecutively, obviously. We'll try to put some new stuff in there, but hey, all yeah. the stuff in between will be new. Yeah, yeah, and if, if it's a movie that we haven't played in a couple of years, yeah. we can have some repeats. Yeah, people don't remember, yeah, and I'm sure people so, like, haven't watched every second of each show, so. So some of the movies that we played back in 2018 when the internet, when our internet sucked, <laughs> we can replay and in it'll. 2019. Mm -hmm. In 2019. Yeah, it'll it'll run smoother, but let's let's play some of those, like, um, let's play some ones we haven't played in a long time first. I'm, I'm feeling White Zombie. I, I wanted to do that for Christmas, but, oh. we, but we went ahead and did Santa Claus. That would be fun. White Zombie is great. It's, they a, love. it's a fun movie, yeah. and I just like it's really creepy, really, and I and I, I had a lot of fun with the drops and, uh, you know, the sound effects and the visual things and that. So, maybe it'll be White Zombie. Let's see. James says, two for two videos, two days in a row. Perry says, congratulations on Cle uh, the Cleveland Browns. Yeah, the Cleveland Browns won. They're Go going, Browns! Going to the playoffs. That's awesome. Which is crazy because four years ago, they won zero games. We know, Janet. We know. Zero games just four years ago. Cleveland has not forgotten. They're, they're still <laughs> feeling the soreness of that. So it's the, just... It, we're just happy that they even made it to the playoffs, so we, they could lose big time. And I think the fans would still be happy yeah. that they even got that far. But I don't know; they're not too bad. They're they're doing pretty <laughs> good. But you know, we'll see. Hopefully, they can continue their winning streak. So yeah, we'll see. And then John says, "White Zombie is great." It's a great movie, especially the way we do it. <laughs> Brian says, "Frankenstein Island." No. Let's never play Frankenstein Island again. I, did we only play it the one time, I think? No, we played it twice. On our show or the, you on, the DVD release? The DVD and on our show. Know, so it, that's it, twice. It may have to come back. We've hosted that movie twice. But, you know, and it's we, terrible. We'll, we'll let, the, we'll let <laughs> our audience kind of figure that out. They want to let us know what they want us to play. Uh, Kate says the Lions just fired their coach. Oh, my. Wow. Sports our, update our, here. Our coach the... has the Rona. We have the sport. Oh, he. Oh, really? Yeah, that's. I read that in the news today. Whoa. Yeah, our Cleveland Browns coach has the Rona. Wow. Yeah, crazy stuff. So be safe out there, guys. What you mean the macaroni? Yeah, the macaroni. Oh, mm, I love macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be safe out there, guys. Yeah. And a nice. Um, thanks for chatting with us and hanging with us. Yeah. And um. We'll do it again sometime. Yeah, I mean, if if we don't upload a video tomorrow, maybe we'll just go live again tomorrow and talk about something. You're not, you're not, you're never gonna know unless you tune in. You know. Yeah. So. so so hit like, hit subscribe, click the little bell next to subscribe, so that way when we go live or upload something, you get a notification that hey, we're on we're on uh, YouTube. Yeah, we're ready to sit down and talk and show you what we got. All right, and <laughs> All we should right, sign that, off. You can say good night. <laughs> Good and, night, good fright. And we'll see you next time. All right.